Hi, today I will lead you through the basics of PDA Web Interface and Features. Now the first thing you will see is the login page, where you have to enter the credential provided to you by email or by your administrator. You will land on your personal dashboard, where you can see a list of your accessible workspaces. Workspaces can be seen as a main folder or drive that can be either personal or common to many people, generally your business unit or the entire company. On the right you can see a feed of what recently happened in the workspaces you are authorized to access. You can also use the top tabs to edit your profile, set a photo, a full name, if not already done. Choose a workspace and select Enter. Here you will see four main zones. At the top of the screen, a global toolbar allows you to switch to another workspace. See your notifications feed and switch back to your dashboard. The left-hand panel is an explorer-like display of the workspace contents and some quick access tabs that we will cover later on. The three can be expanded and you can close this panel to gain more space. The center panel lists all the files with their properties. You can select one or fewer files using regular keyboard shortcuts and right-click to access advanced functions. As you can see, the green action toolbar will evolve depending on your current selection. The display can be changed depending on your requirements, from a detail list with a lot of information, to a thumbnails grid where you can tune the size of the images. The right hand panel gives you more information about your selection as well. And again, it can be closed to gain more space. Now let's see how to manage files on PDO. To post some files located on my computer inside a given folder, I will just enter this folder by double-clicking on it, grab the files from my desktop and drag and drop them inside PDO. If I need to relocate them after upload, I can create a new folder and again drag the files inside the folder. Using the mouse right click, I can access to all advanced operations like renaming, moving or copying a file to another location and many more. I can also simply select the download button to copy that file locally on my computer. Selecting many files will create a zip archive that I can also download at once on my computer. Pedio allows you to preview many files formats directly online without having to download them on your computer first. For example, I can see image in tabs, make them full screen, and use the arrow to navigate through the current folder images. I can also edit many type of text-based files and source codes, edit them, and save them directly in PDO. PDO provides many ways to quickly access to a given resource. For example, you can use the bookmarks feature to access a folder or a file later from the bookmarks tab of the left-hand panel. 
you can also directly use the integrated search engine. For example, if I look for PDF, it will here find all files containing PDF in their names for the current workspace. Using the Advanced button, I can narrow my search with more specific conditions. Finally, a very cool feature of Pedio is the ability to create selection cards during the navigation by simply dragging files or folders into the left panel Cards tab. You can select them from various places. And once your selection is done, download them at once via a zip archive. That will be for today, folks. Thank you for listening.